Well, that may very well be the best team on the planet right now. And uh, they're very hard to play. Um, our start wasn't great. We had to do some very good things in the second quarter, and then they made a run. Um, third quarter, you know, it was we played them decently for stretches. You know, it was a, basically just lost the quarter by two. And then the fourth quarter, you know, things got ugly. And then our uh, group at the end did a great job of, of just continuing to fight. And um, I don't think we had a whole lot in the tank tonight. Um, it's tough catching them on two days rest, you know, when we're when we're coming off a you know a game last night. But that's where that's the world we're living in, and so uh, we got to get ready for the next one, um, going to Milwaukee. So you know, uh, another easy one. Last night you were talking about the Hawks' run in the third quarter today. Memphis goes on a big second quarter run. What can what can you do to slow down runs before they get really long or prevent them from happening entirely? Well, you can take timeouts. Um, another thing that helps is to take care of the ball. You know, the turnovers at times were a big problem, particularly at the beginning part of the game. So it's always going to be challenging. You know, 19 turnovers for 20 points. I mean, they had, I think, 26 points in transition at halftime. You know, and they... They have dynamic players, you know, Morant's, you know, I mean, it's, it's hard to describe what he's doing right now. Um, and, you know, they just have big physical guys and they and they attack. And so uh, we play these guys again, I think, in a couple of weeks at their place. Um, and, you know, going into, into that game, we'll have a better idea of the task um, and it won't be it won't be easy going in their building. Without Tyrese and his ability to set guys up or throw guys open from deep, how much harder is it for you guys to generate the looks you want from long range? Well, the, the irony is we had a lot of really good looks tonight that didn't go in. Um, you know, maybe it's fatigue. Maybe we're just was just unlucky at times. Uh, second night, you know, we had guy, we had multiple guys that played in the high thirties in minutes, and so um, this is just one of the facts of life in the NBA. So, hey. You got to do everything possible to, to get the looks you want. Uh, we got a lot of good looks. We got a lot that weren't great either. But the ones that were good, we needed to make. The majority of those, we didn't. And so, you know, it's a, it's a tough game. But, you know, I, I'm going to look at the positives. You know, I, like Chris Duarte's night tonight was, was significant. I mean, he's just been, you know, you sit out for a month and a half, you know, with, with an ankle. Um, Coming back into it is not is not simple. It's, you don't just step back in and start making shots, and you know, and he's been he's stayed in the fight. And tonight, you know, all that stuff, you know, bore some fruit, you know, in terms of you know his rhythm and those kinds of things. So that was great to see. Um, you know, McConnell was you know had nearly a triple double, you know, and that that group at the end showed that they stayed ready. You know, like Terry Taylor. Did good things off the bench, you know. I was in there this afternoon. He was in there early this afternoon working out and just keeping himself tuned up as best as he could. Um, he did a good job. James did a good job coming off the bench. So, hey, you know, we got we to gotta fight as hard as we can with the guys we have available. Um, and this is a team that, you know, the way they attack and, and the way they dunk the ball and all that kind of stuff can make it difficult. But, you know, we... We hung in, and the group that finished the game did a good job.